Hey everyone, Monty King here. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about, you know, just some basic supplies and tools that I think every miner should have, you know, in backup, you know, or on hand, you know, um, for their for their mining farm. And it doesn't really matter what size it is. I mean, you can, you know, adjust the supply levels, you know, based on your needs. But I think you should have some things in reserve because sometimes things are out of stock and then you're going to be waiting a long time to get your rig back up. So I like to keep my stuff, you know, pretty stocked pretty well. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys, before we get into this, though, if you guys missed my last video on how to mine Vertcoin, there's going to be a card right up here, up in the upper right hand uh, corner here. And why don't you guys go check that out and uh, see how you can mine Vertcoin either to your PC or in Hive OS. Okay, so there's quite a few things that to me that you need to kind of have on hand if you're going to be a crypto miner or a GPU miner or I'm not really sure what ASICs would need because I haven't messed with those yet. But as far as GPU mining, these are the things that I like to have on hand, some tools and other things that I like to use. Um, so first things first, let's get the most basic thing is, which is going to be thermal paste. You're going to want thermal paste on hand. Um, you could just have one tube on hand because this you could easily get like at least 10, 15 GPUs on this. So um, depending upon your size of farm, you, I mean, you could maybe get 20. It, it would depend on how big the tube is, but and it depends on how many graphics cards you have. But if you have a lot of graphics cards, like 50 or 100, then you're going to want to buy a couple of these tubes. Um, that way, if you have a rig that's running too hot, you could shut it down right away, to disassemble it, clean it, and get it put back together in no time because you actually have this on hand versus you're going to have to wait a couple days and if it's running too hot, you may have to shut down the rig and just remove the car altogether and just lose that hash power. So my goal is, is to always have things on hand so that way I can keep hashing as much as possible. In conjunction though with the thermal paste, you also need to have some 99% isopropyl alcohol as well as a nice big thing in Q-tips. So just some really easy basic stuff right there just to start off with, which is what most people who build computers will have typically have those things on hand because they're gonna be repacing CPUs or GPUs. So that's kind of a, a really common one. And I think everybody should have that. The next thing I think you should have though, is if you're not using a riserless motherboard, so if you're using risers, I like to have extra risers on hand. So I bought an extra box from gpurisers.com. Um, I've, already, I've already replaced a couple and I've only been mining for a year. Now the first two sets I bought were from Amazon. Those uh, with the, I can't remember what the name is, but they're blue and they're garbage and they don't last. And I've slowly just been replacing them. You know what I mean? As they fail. So um, I always like to keep an extra box of you know uh, risers just in case they go out. Cause so just because there'll be GPU errors and. You know, sometimes a rig will come up and then you'll see that one of the cards went down and then the rig will just not mine and all. And that's usually a sign of you need a new riser. That's one thing that I like to keep on hand. Another thing I like to keep on hand, though, is going to be, you know, power supply cables. You know, um, I just keep like a couple, like one or two on hand because you never know. You know, maybe one's going bad or maybe one melted or who knows. Just something really cheap to have on hand. I haven't had one fail, but you never know. Um... Now these are uh, PCIe connectors. These I use for my server power supplies from Parallel Miner. Um, I bought an extra box of 16 um, just in case I need them. You know, I've only had to use like one or two of them, but it's just nice to have extra ones. Maybe one fails, maybe one starts not doing so good. You know, there is imperfections in manufacturing, but I just, I think this is a nice thing to have, you know, extra as well. Um, in conjunction with those, though, is I like to have, um, here, I'll show you these, too. These are some PCIe splitters, so that way you can go from a single 8-pin to a double 8-pin. Like, let's say you want to power two risers because there's two cars next to each other. You can more than do that with this. That's 
plenty enough power to power those. You just put that eight that six pin in here and then plug these six pins into each of one of the you know risers and you're good to go. So I have an extra pack of risers just in case the you know in case one of these fail. So these are just some of the things and they're not too expensive either. They're pretty cheap. And um, aside from risers themselves, those are like between like 60 and 80 bucks. So those are a little pricey, but so far everything's been pretty inexpensive as far as cost. Now, um, the next thing I wanna get into is gonna be a really cool tool. And this is what I use to, um, you know, flash Hive OS onto my two and a half inch uh, SATA SSDs is I like to use one of these. This is a SATA um, SSD to USB 3.0. So this way I don't have to sit there and tear apart my computer and get the cables out or leave it, leave the back open and leave access so I can plug it in there, right? I just plug this into USB 3.0 and I flash it and it's that easy. And this thing was like maybe 20 bucks. So something really cheap, it's easy, it's fast. And I like things that make my life easier. That's what I like. Um, I like to have that on hand. Now, if you are using a thumb drive as your boot drive for HiveOS, I've had two thumb drives fail, and so I've replaced all the thumb drives across all my farms, and now they're all, they're all these, which I'll get into now, is I like to carry one or two of these 120 gig SSDs, just keep them on hand. They're like 20 bucks, so. I keep one or two of these on hand. That way, if I have one fail or one go down, hey, I just reflash another one and boom, I'm back to the races. So, now that's pretty much it. You will need, you don't need this, but you can get an iFixit toolkit like I got and I really, really like that. Um, it's because it has a lot of different bits in it and I don't have to go looking for everything. Um, you could just get away with a, you know, a Phillips, you know, screwdriver, you know what I mean, just to get you by. So that's plenty enough. So um, those are all some great basic tools that I think that you need to keep on hand. Um, they'll make your life, it'll make your life easier and you'll be able to get online and get your rigs hashing faster, right? Because you just, you want to limit the downtime. The more time you're down, the less money you're going to make. That's just, it's, it's just simple economics, you know what I mean? Rate goes down, you don't make money. And let's say you have to go on Amazon, you're like, oh man, I need to get a, you know, I need to get some risers. Oh, well, Amazon's all sold out, and then you got to wait a week to get these from gprisers.com. Okay, you only got one rig, let's say. Say you're a small-time guy, you only got one rig. Okay, now you're out, you're down for a whole week. And let's say profitability skyrockets, you're going to miss out on all that opportunity because you didn't have extras. So all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to show some of my tools and supplies that I keep on hand so that way I can get back up and running as fast as possible. I think it most miners that have been mining for a while will keep most of these things on hand, have a few extras, because you don't wanna wait for shipping. That's, that's the name of the game. All right, guys, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.